So how do I set up a schedule to precondition my Model 3 before I leave in the morning, and why should I do it? A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on how the cold weather affects the range in this Model 3. I compared it to how it affects the range in the Bolt, and I did have people comment about how I should be preconditioning the battery. There's a very easy way to set up a schedule to precondition the battery in this Tesla Model 3, as there are for other electric vehicles on the market right now. Uh, this just happens to be the one that I have that can do it. And there is a benefit. The number one benefit to preconditioning your battery on a cold day is it's better for the battery to do it that way rather than have to operate when it's cold itself. I mean, I don't like to work when I'm cold either. So first off, let me show you how to set up that schedule. I'm gonna show you how to do this using the center screen of the Tesla, but you can also uh, do this on the phone app as well, and it works the same way. Uh, but for the car, I'm going to tap this button to bring up this menu, which will automatically display on your phone app. Uh, tap on schedule, which would be the same on the app, and then it will bring up this screen. Now, I'm going to set these when I'm at home. So I've got that location in place. I can set a schedule for charging. That works if I get discounted rates during off-peak hours. Uh, I don't mess with that because I charge, um, I have a lot of solar panels on my roof, and so I don't have to worry about off-peak hours. Uh, Preconditioning is what I'm going to schedule, and this is to automatically adjust your cabin temperature and warm your battery by a set time. Now, this is very beneficial in the colder winter months where we are right now. I'm gonna tap on the plus sign to create a new one, and I'm gonna have this car ready to go for my commute. So I'm gonna select what days of the week I want it to be, and I can select as many of them as I want. So I'm gonna do Monday through Friday, and I leave for work at 6.30 in the morning. And for the last week, that temperature's been below freezing when I leave for work at 6.30 a.m. I'm going to have this repeat every week, so I'm gonna to toggle repeat weekly and create. And then my schedule exists to precondition the car by 6.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. That is the exact same process that you will use if you're doing this on your phone. You can do this while you're lying in bed before you go to sleep and set the time for when to precondition the car. It takes just a few seconds to do. And then when you're getting ready in the morning, you don't have to open the app to turn on your climate. Now that's what I did two weeks ago. I, while I was getting dressed, getting ready to work, I opened the app, I turned on climate, and I preconditioned the cabin of the car, but I did not precondition the battery, and that was my mistake. To see if preconditioning the battery does have any other benefits other than being better for the battery, Let's rewind to this morning. It is 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside. The car's charging is complete. After preconditioning, it's showing that it's at 99% state of charge, and I'm starting the commute, driving the exact same route I did a couple of weeks ago. So at the end of my commute, we've gone 26 miles. We've used seven kilowatt hours at an average efficiency of 270 watt hours per mile, which translates to about 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. A couple of weeks ago, when I did this same commute, when temperatures were below freezing, without preconditioning the battery, my average efficiency was 287 watt hours per mile and 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. So the act of preconditioning the battery on that schedule will have netted me around 11 more miles of range. Uh, so there is, a, there is a small benefit to doing it as far as your efficiency and your driving range. And in terms of convenience, I didn't even have to think about uh, warming the car up this morning. The car did it on its own. Of the four EVs we own, this is the only one that I can schedule preconditioning of the cabin and the battery ahead of time. Uh, we can't do it on our Fiat or our Bolt or my Livewire. But the Tesla Model 3 and the other Teslas out there are not the only EVs that can do this. They're not the only ones that have this feature, and every EV could benefit from it. 
the cost isn't really a thing. It, it, I'm paying for that power one way or the other. Um, I'm, I'm using that power from my house or I'm using that power from the battery and I'm going to have to replace it in the battery from my house anyway. So it's not really a cost savings. But based on my test from uh, this morning, it did net me a, you know, a few more miles of projected range or estimated range of uh, about 11 miles, uh, two tenths of a mile per kilowatt hour better efficiency. And I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't have to remember to warm up the car. I just got a notification on my on my watch that the, the car was at the desired temperature a few minutes before I got out there. Get into the car this morning, and even though it was in the upper 20s, it was like 27 degrees Fahrenheit, I think, and it was 29 degrees Fahrenheit by the time I got to work, uh, I was nice and comfortable in the car, and I was able to use the climate control all the way in uh, all the way into work without worrying about what that was going to do to my efficiency. And I, the range of this car is way more than I need for my daily commute. Um, so, if you have an electric vehicle uh, that uh, gives you the option to set a schedule to precondition your cabin and to warm your battery up before you leave, and you can do that while you are still plugged in to your uh, charger at home, especially if that's a level two charger, that's the, the best setup for EV ownership is a level two EVSE at home. Um, have your car plugged in, get the car and the battery warmed up off of the shore power from your house and uh, you'll, you'll improve your range by just a little bit. And in some cases that, that could just be all that you need. Um, and if you have a Tesla Model 3, now I've shown you how easy it is to set up that preconditioning. So if you found this video informative, uh, give us a like and subscribe because we've got plenty more content uh, that's going to be related to this car and anniversaries coming up of, of ownership and of how long we've had EVs. And so if you subscribe, you'll be sure that you don't miss those videos when they come out. And uh, tell us your experience of driving your EV in cold weather. Thanks for watching, guys.